Hey everybody, Ragnarok going to do another 5-3. Uh, the last one was pretty good with uh, drawing a 2200. So I put the actual notation or the uh, ratings for the players over here so you guys can see. Uh, be cool to see my progression or degression as well. So this is standard King's Indian. Uh, he gets these three pawns. Next could be this, most likely knight. Depends on if he wants to go into the standard variation with bishop here. I'll play e5. I uh, wrote about a lot of this on my article. Uh, this makes sense. On my um, article on ragchess.com, I'll put a link to that in the description. I think I said I would do it for a previous video and forgot. But uh, queen here would block me from coming in here. Okay, it doesn't. So you can't push here because I'll take this pawn. Queen comes to c2 now and I'll play a5. Uh, kind of solidifies this knight's position on c5. Bishop here is pretty common. Sometimes bishop comes out to here. Uh, my plan now, okay, he's going to do this, this, and then this um, in order to try to challenge this bishop. The reason he couldn't do this was because I would play a5 immediately. So that gives me time to do something on the queen side, on the king side. Uh, I think I just want to bring my knight back. Knight back, f5, knight back, f4 at some point. If he's going to go slow over here. Maybe he'll do it. But I've seen this sometimes. I don't think it's great. Yeah, I just play f3, f6, comes back. <clears throat> I could even push again. Yeah, because now I get f5 in with tempo on the bishop. If he takes, bishop takes, and I've got a pretty strong center. I'm also attacking this twice. That's kind of weakening. You don't really want to play h3 against King's Indian, usually, but I may just push. Be a little careful though. Yeah, let's try it. Because now I think I can get this in right away. If he takes. No, well, maybe. <clears throat> Open things up. Try to get the rook lipped over. Queen in if I push. Yeah, let's try it. I don't know if it works. But if he takes, bishop takes. This might be okay. Didn't really consider it. I would take here first. Queen takes and then I take. So no, I don't think it works. But my goal here is to possibly take, get my queen in here, maybe rook left over. His queen is um, outside of the action. He's played a little bit slow now with this b3 move. Uh, so that's important. I don't know if I want to start doing this. It might be good. But then it might just get in my way. Is pushing good here? Maybe it's better just to develop my knight back so I can attack here. What did he give away with this? Don't necessarily want to start trading. <clears throat> hmm. Not sure the best answer. Maybe knight up to defend. Get my knight back in position if he trades. I've got tempo here. Then I'll have this idea. Queen and knight attacking h2. So I don't think he wants to trade here. But his queen and knight are tied down to that defending the e4 pawn. Uh, and if he pushes, that's going to create a weakness that I might be able to attack here. If he pushes f3. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, has he given up this pawn? I don't think so. Maybe now the pawn push makes sense. Just kind of solidify my structure here. Um, if he takes now, pawn takes, I've got a massive pawn chain on his side. And if he pushes, I can just slide back now. I'm threatening to take this pawn right now. Thanks to my double knights. Okay, um, he's made a little bit of a weakness now, right here and there. Uh, I don't see an immediate way to get in there. But I might be able to start pushing this now once this knight bishop is back. He's lined both of these up to come this way and he's blocked himself with f3. So that's also important. Maybe this works pretty well. Get my rook on this file. <clears throat> Maybe I just start pushing. Knight is a little bit out of game. That move is curious too. But check takes takes. And that opens things up too much for him, which is good for him. Maybe I push, try to get this weakness. Because <clears throat> if he slides over, I just come in here. He can't push. He can't even push now, but yeah, I think I just want to get in there. If he ever pushes, um, my pawn is attacking his both of his pieces. And coming in here, taking is pretty bad. But I don't know if it's game ending. Um, I think I just want to tie him in here. If he takes, I think I take back with sure if this pawn that's an interesting move once he's in check where does he go I like the idea of bringing my bishop activating it here let's see what happens with this I don't know if it's correct but he's only got two squares to go to thanks to these pieces how can I infiltrate maybe start bringing my queen in bishop might have been better actually now he slides up. Then maybe my rook comes in. I don't know. Maybe it's not a great move. Let's just play slow and get the bishop here like I actually should have. He's in a bad position, so I think it's still in my favor. If he ever pushes, which is bad, I can win this pawn. Have ideas of pushing and have this bishop on the rook. Um, but no, he has a very weak. Yeah, let's get in here. Very weak dark squares, like really, really weak. I have ideas now of sacking and maybe bringing a bishop in. Ideas of pushing, maybe. I don't know. Now I think I can safely come in here. Yeah, I should have done that before. Uh, maybe he slides back. Uh, if he does, he loses a rook, actually. Now that I've got both of these attacking this diagonal. <clears throat> that makes sense to do, but now I could take here. If this piece takes, take knight up. Difficult to say. Might be okay right now. Maybe I'll just bust open somewhere else. Just go slow. Get my rooks over. 
Oops, no need to rush. I've got a much better position. Let's keep it cramped. He could try this. That might be a little too slow. I don't know if there's any good sack ideas yet. Let's figure out this first. Maybe I can even slide over. I kind of like the control of here, though. Um, I think I want to... Yeah, let's get this square. If he pushes, I'm going to come in with my knight threatening to come here, forking the queen. And if he takes, I can take with bishop. It's very strong for me. Because then I have ideas of taking the knight and then checkmate, maybe. So this looks like a really good move for me. Uh, this knight is still secure here, and he's defending the rook from coming in. Defending the bishop. Um, yeah, if he slides over, I feel like he's losing a piece somehow. I can even just slide back. <clears throat> if he slides over, I might still want to come in here. Take, king takes, let's try this, infiltrate now. Uh, if king takes, I think this wins a little bit. Uh, maybe not. Ooh, um, this is good now. also have this pawn but this is really the best move still wins a rook uh, rook can't come off this file or else he has checkmate This looks interesting. Check, rook takes, check, slides up. Yeah, I think I'll lose a piece actually. Safest is this. Although, check here, right? Maybe this is better. Nah, actually, let's just go safe. I don't have much time. Uh, this is forced for him to take. <gasps> Ooh, no, that's mate. If rook takes, again, he can't come off the file. Uh, yeah, it's mate in two. There's nothing else he can do. Mate in one now, it was two. Yeah, sweet. Uh, yeah, the mate was here. Takes. Checkmate. That was a pretty good game by me, I think. Let's see where he went wrong. I think this move was slow. It allowed... It's, it's just like my Sicilian um, Yugoslav or Dragon Yugoslav games. It's a king side versus queen side attack. Once he comes forward, um, I have this weakness here. Uh, grab it as quick as possible. I mean, better maybe is this, because then I can't do that. But also, maybe this is an idea. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people do castle, allowing this. So yeah, I, I think just getting my attack going, he allowed a lot of tempo here. Because I wanted to play f5 anyway, and eventually play g5. So if he takes, h3 is also weakening. If he takes, this looks really good for me. I've got full control of these squares. I can possibly push one of these pawns. It's just a good position. It's not like winning. It's just good. This is a good idea. I kind of like this idea. Just developing. Ah. So yeah, just developing solidifying this structure, forcing him to make a pawn weakness, which he did. Now that bishop's job is safe. Bishop really, a lot of times it sacks for this h3 pawn to open up the king, but being here is fine. It goes to defend both sides. It doesn't have to be very active, as we saw. It's more um, protective. This was good to help limit him from ever pushing. It also allows my knight to come in. He's got four pieces now in the back rank still. 
uh, not really forced to take, but this bishop's really out of the game. So, not that I'll take this one at all, but uh, takes. I don't know if taking with this way was better. I, I thought maybe he had some way of doing something here, and plus this bishop's dead. No real hope of activating. I mean, look at these pawns. I can't easily break it open. I have to do c6 and maybe there's some way. But I thought this was interesting. Um, I feel like this was the better move. Uh, I saw it right away too. Because, I mean, what does he do? It's limiting all of these squares. And then my queen can come in with um, much more strength. I mean, maybe he does this. I mean, he doesn't have many options, so that would have been better. But I did this first by accident. Just played slow. Uh, yeah, same thing's accomplished, but now he has these in better positions. Okay, now he's got five pieces on the back rank. Uh, just going slow, developing my, my rook. His king allows his queen to move away from the square. I like this idea because if he ever pushed, I was going to come in here, um, almost forcing this, but then uh, it's mate. So this is just a really powerful diagonal, which is why his bishop trading was not good, but it was also semi-forced. So when he went there, I mean, my bishop, like I mentioned here, is a, a strong place for it. Uh, taking here makes sense because... Then coming in here with tempo, he has to move away. There's no other way to defend the rook. More tempo on another rook. Uh, and then, yeah, this is force made in two. So let's see what the engine thinks. I think the only real mistake I had there was that bishop move. Um, this is all standard uh, orthodox King's Indian. So again, I uh, will put that description below so you guys can check it out. Yeah, I mean, that's an option too, bringing bishop here. But actually, no, 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 the, the move is, yeah, I think this is a good move. And then it's just a weird position I get in here anyway. Uh, maybe not right away, actually. Yeah, it's uh, it's a, certainly a line. <clears throat> yeah, I liked my knight here, but why, why did that flash at plus two for a second there? I mean, I, I mean, I could have moved it out here too. This is all pretty good. Yeah, I guess it wants him to take. Uh, I would take here before doing that. Well, that's a good way to activate the bishop. That's not bad. I like that. Um, yeah, so now I'm able to push. I didn't like g4. So I guess this makes sense. This pawn really didn't help until later. Maybe it's good. Standard King's Indian fashion here. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't like h5 either. But I thought that was really weakening. f2 was bad. I thought about this. Is this winning something? Check. But then what happens after you go back? Take. This is pretty deadly. So the threat here, um, if he does something, is to come up here. I mean, let's do a different move. I think it's still to... Oh, yeah, rook lift. Okay, rook up and over. This is tough to defend. <clears throat> so that knight sack would have been interesting. Because I think he has to... If he moves away, this is a strong square. It's also a fork. Interesting. Okay, um, knight in, knight g3. That was a blunder by him. It agrees to go open up this way. Bishop should have been the right move. Yeah, plus 0.4. Huh. This looks pretty good for me. <clears throat> yeah, I just did it out of order. <clears throat> That's interesting, too. So I didn't think it worked. If he takes uh, mate, 
Yeah. And if he takes here, um, I think check first with the rook. If the knight takes, it's almost mate. I guess that doesn't work. If I go here. Yeah, mate. Okay. Wow. I missed all that. I didn't see that it worked like that. Uh, the key was I missed mate there once the queen moves away. So he had to block it with the rook, slide over. Yeah, there were quicker ways to win this. <laughs> yeah, if you move forward though, this is really strong. Tough to, I mean, his kink's in the middle, pieces are on the back rank. I liked this idea. This all works pretty well. Saying give up the rook, yeah. Or give up the queen, it's saying. It's that bad. Check. Yeah, I'm eating one. There was nothing he could do. There's no king can't go anywhere. That was a good game. Uh, what blunders did I have? Four inaccuracies and two mistakes. That's all it's saying. And we just looked at all this. So that was a good game.